Hi, I'm Joni Patree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about the sign of Virgo. What is going to be happening for Virgo for the year of 2021? But first, before we go ahead, I want to make sure that you're using the right sign because remember, I'm talking about the Vedic sidereal zodiac. It's different than the Western tropical zodiac that most are more familiar with. So if you don't know what sign you are and what I'm basing this on is the ascendant and the moon sign, go to my website to my free chart calculator which my website is galacticcenter.org and put in your birth information and find out what you are. According to, I want you to find out your ascendant and your moon. So once you discover that you are Virgo, then I want you to know that this year is going to be a year of, of creative advances. You're going to be making new things. You have fabulous new ideas because the Jupiter Saturn conjunction, which are together till April 5th. And then again, they will arrive back into uh, your fifth house around September through November. You are going to be involved in some creative projects. You have new ideas. You may even be writing a book, something about creation. And another thing is you may be more in interested in investing, stock market is the fifth house where these planets are. You will do very, very well in investments. It can be the stock market. It can be investing in property, uh, anything where you're putting money into an investment. This is a year you'll do extremely, extremely well. And after April 5th, we are going to have Jupiter move into Aquarius where it will remain and station, which means it becomes really strong between May and July. And it's going to be in your sixth house, which means you're going to be steady working. You're going to have a lot of work, a lot more to do. Probably all these creative ventures are creating more work for you, more opportunities to do things uh, in the alignment of expanding your work. Another thing is when Jupiter goes into Aquarius, for you, you're going to get healthy. And for a Virgo ascendant, oh my God, everything's about health anyway. You're always into how you can improve, make yourself better physically, health-wise, and emotionally, spiritually. This is, you're always about improvement and helping others. And with Jupiter being in the sixth house, you will have more opportunity. You're more gun ho about getting healthy, getting stronger, and getting involved into helping other people. It's also a great time for you to adopt a pet. Jupiter in the sixth house is best for this. When will Jupiter be in your sixth house? It will enter April 5th, and then it will leave uh, the Aquarius or your sixth house around September, November, and it will return towards the end of the year. So this is going to be a time. It's great to adopt a new pet. The sixth house rules pets and animals, health and work. So the next thing for, for me to talk about is the Mars Rahu conjunction, which they come together February 22nd through April 13th. And this means the Rahu Mars will be in your ninth house. And the ninth house is our quest to find truth, spirituality, to work, can also have some repercussions around legal stuff or, or, citi or citizenship, things of that nature. These are things that deal with the law and the higher, higher courts and things like that. But for the most part, it's higher knowledge, which is you are the spiritual warrior. You're learning more and more about the truth and spirituality, and you're becoming more and more involved in things like this. It's powerful. Furthermore, furthermore, uh, the ninth house pertains to higher education and schools. You might want to be going back to school for something. You feel very motivated and ambitious that this is great learning and you need to be learning more. It deals with teachers, professors. You could gain some teachers at this time and, or it can represent your father 
And this could cause some kind of conflict or breakdown of your relationship with your father at this time. Maybe things need to be resolved, but there'll be something that could surface. And even if your father's not around, it's still a time when you will heal issues from the past with your father. Now, this of course puts K2 in the third house. And the third house deals with learning, education, travel. Don't forget Mars Rahu in the ninth. You could be going on a trip. When is this? This is February 22nd through April 13th. Furthermore, K2 is in your third house throughout this year. And that deals with, a, you feel like there's something missing in the area of learning. Therefore, you're gaining, you're filling that empty void with more information, more knowledge, constantly gathering things to expand your knowledge. But if you have siblings, and especially, this, this can relate to all siblings, but especially a younger one, they may be having some issues or some serious problems in their life. And it may even involve you. Maybe, but maybe not. If it doesn't involve you, then you need to lend a hand, be available, listen, hear them out. Also, taking it to the next level, um, maybe it's something you're here to heal, your relationship with a sibling. So if that's been a problem throughout your life, you will have the opportunity to heal it. And this doesn't necessarily mean you have to go talk to them. It means you got to heal it within yourself so that when you think about the situation and think about them, you don't become angry or upset anymore. That's what healing is all about. Letting it go, processing it, and feeling it, and coming to terms with acceptance. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like more information on me and go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. And don't forget to check out my spiritual jewelry line where I'm selling malas uh, for prayer work, as well as jewelry that has spiritual meaning to us. And lastly, don't forget, if you wanna learn Vedic astrology, take this to the next level join my university, join our community of astrologers, which is universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.